hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome if you're new don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button this episode will be about rabies um, prevention and mongoose eradication you know, i'm using live bait traps um the news in a bit i'll show you just stay tuned to the video remember like the video leave a comment i would like to know what your opinion is about this and what do you think also if you haven't as yet subscribe to the channel have a little mongoose here with me another empty trap today i'm going to give you a short look into one of the odd jobs i do mongoose trapping i had seven of my eight traps come up empty so i had to check to make sure the trigger mechanism worked and it did as i was gonna call it a failed day I noticed there was a little one in the last trap. Oh, and it was feisty. Well, it's pretty small, it can still be very dangerous. There was a lot of turbulence on the GoPro, and the mic was really low. So I left the voice over most of these clips, although I was able to salvage the audio in some of them. So bear with me. This is a typical feisty little mongoose, so let's process it really fast. Um, this is actually a very humane method of euthanizing a feral animal. Um, it's not in any pain or discomfort, it's just gently restrained to the corner where I administer an injection. The anesthetic protocol that I use is a secret. However, it's very fast acting as you would see in a minute. For those of you asking why are we trapping mongoose, let me first tell you. The Indian mongoose is an introduced species to the Caribbean and in Grenada, it's the only known vector for rabies. Yes, the rabies virus is basically maintained among the Indian mongoose population. So in areas where there is high mongoose to human interaction, we would have to eradicate them for public safety. They are also very good hunters and they decimate the local wildlife and invertebrate population. And this specific location, they were eating all the fruits and crops. So it's a female, it's not yet sexually mature, it's alive, um, going to euthanize it, you see it's very humane, let me show you after I get the injection, we do not want to violate YouTube policies, dangerous little ones. Yep, so they said the mongoose would probably have been making quadruplets in the next two months. Small female. I leave the traps out for 24 hours and check again. But on my return, to my great disappointment, the traps was empty again. It was well baited, however, there was no mongoose interaction. I was a bit disappointed because I tried this new bait, so it could be that there's just no mongoose around, but it could also be they're not interested in this bait anymore. I caught mongoose every day up until this point, so ah, I'll just change the bait. Even my trap in the bush, who had the little one the day before, was empty. You can see also that the bait around was not interfered with, not in the trap or out the trap. So, there was no mongoose around that trap for the last 24 hours. I can guarantee it. I was already there and had copious amount of chicken fat. I so believed in this heat that the chicken fat would make such a good aroma that the mongoose would come running in. However, the success was really low. It could be because I trapped mongoose on this location a few months ago and got a good few of them out. It could also be that they're just not interested in this bait. So my plan was to put as much as possible to attract them this time. And even if it, it's successful, 
the next time I will come with a different bit which has been tested and proven time and time again and then I would know if it's just there's no mongoose there or just my bit is not preferred as you can see here I put a copious amount of chicken grease on top of this pan the pan is used I'm, I'm recycling the pans and it's used as a method if the mongoose stand on the trigger mechanism to eat from this pan as you can see bam the straps close on them it's really sensitive traps from the inside these are the best of the three design traps i have and the easiest to work with the turbulence was crazy again for this video so i have to voice it over just saying you know i've been out here my trip my eight traps was empty but i'm not going to give up i'm going to reset my bait i'm going to check again tomorrow the only option i have now is to change the bait so hopefully you like this video leave a comment what you think about mongoose eradication and mongoose trapping subscribe to the channel if you haven't and look forward for the next episode